Hey folks, my name is Vladimir and in today's video tutorial I like to focus on this small assembly and you can see here that is a universal coupling and in the future I like to reuse this small assembly for information in the Creo Simulate. What does it mean? I'd like to show you how to build this small assembly and then how to export data to Creo Simulate and analyze the reaction in the 3D model. So let's start from the beginning. I will delete all this information and we will start from the scratch directly. Yes. So with the Control T button, I will select default orientation and I'd like to start with new axis. So the new axis will be directly in the middle. Yeah, you can see here that I created first axis. And on this the first axis, I will place, for example, model with name top. If you place 3D model, you can spin or move your 3D model here yeah, directly by dragger. But I don't like it. I like more Control Alt and middle button and right mouse button, and I can spin directly the 3D model. Yep, yeah, without using the 3D dragger. It depends about the user. What is necessary to do this model we would like to place as a pin connection so i like to place this two axes from the assembly and from the 3d model and then i like to place a transition so i select axis alignment and transition alignment between two axes and two surfaces if you would like to more would like to know more about the pin connection try to check my previous tutorial okay so first component is placed. What we can do is drag 3D model. Yeah. And here is the question that what we need to do and how we would like to continue. We would like to add another 3D model and the another 3D model will be middle part. So over here, you can see that I like to add and place this 3D model as a pin connection. And on this side, on the left side, for example, I will use the pin connection between two cylindrical surfaces and I don't want to move left and right. So as a translation, I will select two surfaces. So right now, if I will finish, I can check again with the dragger components that is it possible to spin 3D model and is it possible to manipulate here. Yeah? You can see it's a little bit chaotic, but it's the possible because this 3D model is the possible spin and another 3D model is possible to spin around the axis. Okay, so here is the another question, how to add and work with another 3D model. Yeah, so for example, we can add the bottom 3D model in this video tutorial, I'd like to focus on the general constraint. You can have a look here that if you use the general constraint in the placement tab, over there is the question or information that you use automatic. So you can select any surfaces, axis or some connection between two parts and the system will recognize what you would like to do and the system will align and create connection definition complete. So right now is everything fine. You can see that I specify something like cylinder, but I use the general constraint. Again, for example, over here, you know that it's necessary to play surface to surface, but maybe you don't know what is necessary to do and select. So create new set. And again, it will be general constraint and select surface to surface. Offset value, I don't want to use the offset value, so coincident. And you can see here that system will create connection definition complete. And again, you can check how the system will work if the first model is placed like the pin connection, the second one was placed as pin connection, but last one, for a quick example, I use the general constraints. So you can see here that right now it's possible to manipulate with any objects from your assembly. Yeah. So 
over here it was really quick example how you can create universal coupling assembly stay in touch and i will focus on the another information necessary for creo simulate thank you and bye bye Vladimir.